Hello everyone and welcome to Allen Tech. Today we're going to learn the difference between processors in a computer and processors in your cell phone. Okay, so a question I've been getting asked a lot around is why is a computer processor different than a cell phone or Android or iOS device? What makes them so different and why can't they work with the same software as back and forth with each other? It really comes down to that they're made for different things. Phones are made to be very small, especially with the ones we have now that are pencil thick like this LG G3. And they don't use a lot of power because you want to save the battery and also you don't want to make a lot of heat which more power more wattage equals more heat so we don't want to do that whereas in computers we have fans and a whole lot more space to get rid of all that heat so we're allowed to have more so why are, why, why are they different? why does one do this and one does the other? Well, the being is, is to get that lower power and lower heat dissipation because you don't have cooling fans and things like that on cell phones, is they use, um, it's more of a simplified um, language compared to the nice bigger computers that we have. The way I would explain it would probably be that, I would say imagine it um, as if the processors are skilled workers. Imagine the cell phone processor, the ARM processors that most of these come with, being a first day on the job worker. And yes, they're very skilled and they know quite a bit, but you're going to want to get them into the rhythm of things. You're going to want to get them sorted first. So you give them a very easy task for their first day. You say, I just want you to make um, one design of this. I don't want you to make any other designs. I just want you to make one simple design for today until you get some till you get your feet under you and then we'll give you more complicated stuff. But for some reason they just keep doing that simple stuff all throughout. Whereas the computer and um, what they call the x86 and 64 architectures are more complex and since they can add more heat and have more heat and have more power and they have the space to work with they can do more so they can do more complex things so this worker who's been here a while knows what he's doing they tell him to design something but it'll have five or six intricate designs inside of it so that person sets off he might take a bit longer to get it done but he's able to do it because he's got the skills and he knows how to translate what he's been told to what he can do so the arm would be the first person and then the computers would be the second person so I guess really to wrap all this up is that you can't have it's, it's one of those things you can't have it both ways there has to be some kind of happy medium but now I will admit that Intel has also started doing their Atom series processors, started doing, they've been doing them for quite a while. I actually have one in an Android tablet that I reviewed recently, and they're simpler per se, their lower clock speeds are much smaller, but they still, they're still able to run computer applications if you had to. So there is inroads being made to simplify and um, combine the two. But in general, most of the time, your Android devices, your mobile devices in general, are going to have just the simple processors so that they can do simple tasks. You're not going to be making movies on your phone all the time, even though you'll take a video. You're not going to be adding text and explosions and effects and everything into the video that you on your phone. If you want to do that, you're going to move that video file to a computer and add those effects and everything. So that's why the computer 
is able to do more because it needs to do more. But it also creates that heat and everything which is not um, favorable in a phone. I'm really hoping this um, clears things up. I feel that I may have rambled a bit. But at the end of the day, it's just about how simple it is. It's simple instructions to the phone and more advanced instructions, longer instructions to the computer. So, thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you soon. Uh, give that video a like if you would. If you liked it, if you disliked it, let me know. I am still new. Constructive criticism is always welcome. So thank you. And I will see y'all next time.